Alrighty, you guys, what's going on today? So today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about a question that I see um, or that I have seen online and on a couple forums uh, around the internet. And that is, uh, what do you do if your KRK Rocket tweeter is buzzing? Uh, now, of course, you know, working with a buzzing tweeter, working with buzzing in your monitors can be extremely annoying and also can really make mixing, producing, and mastering um, pretty ineffective. Um, a quick quick little background on KRK, just in case you don't know. Uh, KRK began manufacturing the studio monitors back in about 2003 uh, with the Generation 1 KRKs. We are currently in the year 2020, and you are looking at the KRK G4-8s. The G4, of course, stands for Generation 4, and 8 stands for 8-inch low-frequency driver. Uh, KRK has come a long way since uh, their you know inception, and uh, their parts are better, the quality, the design, and just everything overall about their monitors are much better. Um, of course, that doesn't mean that you know things can't happen and um, you know things can get broken or or maybe there's you know things that you might need to troubleshoot along the way. Um, now, a lot of people or some people, I guess, not a lot, um, have said that they've noticed their uh, KRK systems um, tweeters emitting some sort of uh, buzzing from the tweeter, even when the volume is all the way down. Um, and sometimes this happens with one, sometimes this happens with both. Um, if it happens with one, you probably know that there's uh, a problem there. Um, if uh, there, there's a there's a couple there's a couple things that that could be wrong in this case. Uh, if the sound's coming through all the time without you playing the sound, you probably have some sort of line noise. Um, this means that you're going to want to check your connections. Uh, I always say use balanced connections. And when I say balanced, I mean if you're using instrument cables such as the, the ones like these, you want to make sure that they're tip, ring, and sleeve. Uh, there's three parts. This means that they're balanced. You don't want tip TS cables. Uh, those just aren't balanced. You're, you're you know, they're going to be more susceptible to um, waves and, and different sound waves, different uh, radio frequencies, and they'll likely pick up a lot more noise. And that's why you're going to get that buzzing. So you know, make sure to check. Your connections before worrying about whether your tweet you think your tweeter is broken or anything. Go through, swap out some cables, swap out some balanced cables. See if the noise disappears. Um, if so, there you go. You have your question. Uh, you have your question answered. Um, if the sound is happening and distorting the original uh, signal when you're playing through the tweeter, this means that you've probably blown your tweeter coil. Um, this can happen when you know a lot of current goes through your tweeter. Um, and this will make this, uh, the speaker coil really hot over time. Um, you know, this, this can uh, be a consequence of playing your music at really loud volumes for a really long period of time. Um, or playing maybe a high-pitched noise too loud for too long. Uh, it's going to build up heat and energy and probably blow your coil. Um, so, you know, that's, that's two things right there. Of course, it could be something like the soldering on the inside, and in that case, You'll have to, you know, take your KRK systems monitor apart um, and then dig inside to see if you can find any, you know, burnt parts of uh, your your uh, coil caps. Um, and that's pretty easy to do. Uh, they've made it super simple on these G4s, especially to take off the back and kind of look around inside to see if anything looks, um, you know, out of place. Uh, but yeah, so those are a couple things that you can check. Again, if uh, if you have the sound that's, you know, going on all the time, it's most likely a bad line connection. Check all your cables, check to see if they're grounded. Um, and if so, then awesome, you're solid. Um, if it is distortion, you may have blown your tweeter uh, coil. And in that case, you'll likely need to either take it to a repair shop or call KRK uh, systems for, um, you know, some sort of repair, maybe some sort of uh, warranty, depending on how long you, well, how long ago you bought them. Uh, and three, uh, it might be an issue with just the soldering on the inside. And that's something that if you have experience with soldering, um, you can definitely do it yourself. All right, guys. Uh, so that's it. The answers, hopefully that answers the uh, question of, uh, is my KRK rocket tweeter coil blown or tweeter uh, blown? Um, and yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions or uh, any insights, please feel free to let me know in the comments. All right. Take it easy.